If you are a fan of political news, then Fox News Outnumbered is not alien to you. Having captivated many political fans around the globe, Outnumbered is an American daytime news and talk show that airs weekdays on Fox News at 12 p.m. Eastern Time and features hosts Harris Faulkner, Emily Campagno, and Kaylee McEnany. In the show, the hosts bring on stage two different guests each episode, one male and one female. The women, having outnumbered the men, all discuss news and current affairs in the country. This unique setup has, however, sparked a lot of buzz all over the internet in recent years. Despite having gained some following over the years, Outnumbered has once again had most of its fans puzzled, especially after some of their hosts, Tantaros, Meghan McCain, and Melissa Francis, all left the show under rather interesting circumstances. The question arises, What's really going on behind the closed doors of Outnumbered? Why did some of its major newscasters decide to leave the show's cast? Is it management? Is it their own interests? Let's find out. Outnumbered, the show. This American news talk show was introduced to the general public on the 28th of April, 2014, by Fox News. At the time, its unique style of featuring a rotating crew of four female hosts and one male garnered a high television audience just a few weeks after its premiere. During the show's premiere, Fox News said the dynamic of the gender-weighted panel would result in a fresh take on the news of the day. With a goal of examining the top news of the hour and carefully looking at the leading pop culture and relationship issues dominating the headlines that day, each segment of the show was something worthwhile. During the first few episodes of the show, Harris Faulkner, Emily Campagno, and Kaylee McEnany held the host positions, inviting two new faces each day, a woman and a guy. It was like a dinner party where they unraveled the trendy news of the day. And yes, the guy is a bit outnumbered and is contrary to the normal news setup. That's the point of the show. Let's face it, the news world has been predominantly dominated by men. So when Outnumbered was launched, it was a big deal. People loved the concept. It was like discovering a hidden gem on TV and showbiz. The show found a unique way of achieving both informative and entertaining status. With the diversity in the range of guests on the show and up-to-date news, the show offered a little bit of everything. From serious discussions to lighthearted banter, you name it, they got you covered. Broadcasting from Studio M at the News Corp building in New York City Outnumbered has been more than just a news show. It has sparked some serious controversies in recent days. Despite focusing on the hot topics of the day, the show also shines a light on how women are seen in the news and entertainment industry in general. And to have famous newscasters leave the show the way they did, the show's influence undoubtedly goes beyond live TV, changing our perspective on gender and journalism. The truth lies with these women who left the show's cast, and that's exactly what we hope to unmask. So, sit tight. Andrea Tantaros is an American conservative political analyst and commentator whose presence on the show was highly appreciated by the fans. Her brilliance in explaining politics to the general public was particularly what made her stand out from the rest. One could tell she wasn't new to the business. She was clearly a fan favorite. Why then would Fox News issue a statement saying that issues have arisen with her contract and that she was going to take some time off? Born in Allentown, the county seat of Lehigh County, Pennsylvania, on the 30th, 1978, Tantaros was more in tune with her studies, often showcasing her proficiency in multiple foreign languages. French, Spanish, and even Greek were primarily some of her strengths. She attended Parkland High School in South Whitehall Township, Pennsylvania, until her graduation. After that, she joined Lehigh University to pursue a degree in French and journalism, which she excelled in. After graduation, Tantaros relocated to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., in search of a proper job. She didn't land the host job right away, but because of her eagerness to learn and her proficiency in more than two foreign languages, she got an internship on CNN's Crossfire program, an American nightly current events debate television program that aired on CNN from June 25, 1982 to June 3, 2005. For a fresh graduate, landing a role in a place like CNN is more of a dream, 
even if it's just as an intern. Can you imagine being surrounded by all those big name politicians and specialists? Andrea Tantaros wanted to be much more than the world had offered her at the time. She worked diligently to make sure everything she was assigned was done with precision. She went back to school in Paris, where she attained her master's degree. This move opened up new roads for her. When she got back, Tantaros's determination to be the best earned her a job as the spokeswoman for Massachusetts Governor William Weld. I guess being around political heads during her time at CNN motivated her. She went on to be the spokeswoman of a few other congressmen before moving to New York City in 2005, where she launched Andrea Tantaros Media, which aimed at providing crisis management and media strategy consulting to Fortune 500 companies and political campaigns. By this time, it was safe to say that Andrea was no longer a stranger to high-stakes environments. Fast forward to 2010, after a series of media appearances, Tantaros joined the Fox News crew as a political contributor. Once again, her eloquence and political understanding came into play, and soon afterward, she quickly became a significant voice in political commentary. Not long after her joining Fox News in 2011, Tantaros earned herself a raise from political contributor to co-host of Fox's newly launched show, The Five. The Five was an American conservative political talk show on Fox News Channel. Their structure and topics on current stories, political issues, and pop culture had viewers all over the world glued to their screens. From its premiere on July 11, 2011, The Five was an instant hit, and several months after its debut, it was already pulling in more viewers than the combined efforts of its rivals over at MSNBC and CNN. Despite a few bad reviews, many fans across the globe praised this show, with critics dubbing it as their favorite guilty pleasure and praising its freewheeling style and zany humor, calling it a delightfully nutty show. In 2013, The Five was named the second most watched program on cable news in the US, a true testament to the show's captivity. But even with this amazing record, Tantaro still knew she was built for more. That's why in 2014, when the opportunity came to co-host a newer and better show, Tantaro seized it. On The Five, Tantaros was simply magnificent, but in Outnumbered, she showcased her prowess and political knowledge to a wide range of TV viewers. With its unique format of one man outnumbered by four women discussing politics, Outnumbered was a must watch. Tantaros did her best to bring out the truth from her guest with her no-nonsense attitude. In an episode a few months after it premiered, Tantaros got into a heated debate about a U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee report on CIA torture programs. She didn't hold back what she felt. She openly said, The United States of America is awesome. We are awesome. But we've had this discussion about torture. She went on to argue that the administration wanted to have this discussion not to highlight America's strengths, but to make the country look bad. They apologized for this country. They don't like this country. They want us to look bad. And all this does is have our enemies laughing at us. Tantaros was having a blast as a cast member in the show. Why did she leave? Tantaros leaves Fox News. Having made such an impact on Fox News, Tantara was the new fan favorite. That's why when she went missing from the show in April 2016, her fans demanded answers. Fox News initially claimed that issues have arisen with her contract and that she was going to take some time off. News that was refuted by Tantaros herself three months later on August 15th the same year. What she came out to say left many Fox News viewers in shock. Tantaros came out and accused Fox News management of sexual harassment, news that most people found utterly shocking, especially from a well-respected media house like Fox News. The accusation inspired Gretchen Carlson and other women, all former employees of Fox News, to come up with similar complaints. This led New York Magazine to do their own investigation later, finding out that Tantaros had repeatedly complained to executives back in 2015 about Roger Ailes's inappropriate sexual behavior. But instead of taking action, Fox News demoted her from the five to outnumbered and then took her off the air in April 2016 as an attempt to silence her. You think that's shocking? Wait until you hear the next part. 
Tantaro's lawsuit also alleged that Bill O'Reilly, Dean Kane, and Scott Brown often made inappropriate comments about her and other ladies, and that Brown and Kane even touched her inappropriately without consent, allegations that the three refuted. You'd think that with Tantaros and the other women's testimony, the perpetrators of the crime would be brought to justice, right? But it wasn't that easy. The Rap, an American media company covering the business of entertainment and media, would add a twist to the case. One guest with knowledge of the legal situation claimed that the sexual harassment issue is a way for Tantaros to muddy the waters when the real issue is her contract. According to him, the problem was that Tantaros promoted her book, Tied Up in Knots, on the air without permission after failing to submit a publishing timeline or detailed outline of the book's content as required by her contract, and that's why she was let go. This statement, however, was received with a lot of criticism by Tantaros's fans, wondering whether the alleged contract violation was just a convenient way for Fox News to silence her. Would Bill O'Reilly, for example, have been banished from the airwaves for hawking a book without corporate approval? Tantaros, however, did not give up on the case. She was determined to get justice for herself and the other women. She filed an amended complaint on the 29th of January, 2018. In her complaint, she painted a vivid description of a culture of harassment, including claims of spying on employees at Fox News. You'd think this was the breakthrough she had longed for, but it's the contrary. On May 18, 2018, her complaint was once again rejected. Judge George B. Daniels threw the case out, citing a lack of factual support. It seemed to be a never-ending battle for the former Fox News newscaster. With her complaint being refuted once again, Tantaros was on the brink of giving up, but she didn't. Tantaros went on to hire a few lawyers to represent her, but unfortunately, all three of them failed to diligently succeed. Nevertheless, Tantaros still pushed on, this time choosing to represent herself. Without any formal legal training, Tantaros was like an amateur boxer in the ring with Mike Tyson. Tantaros, however, was not willing to go down without her fight. In her book, Tied Up in Knots, where she explains how getting what we wanted made women miserable, Tantaros held nothing back. She wanted it all to be known. The book gives criticism of Fox Network's internal culture, revealing the controversial inner workings of Fox News. But instead of helping the situation, it only made matters worse. In October 2016, things took a dark turn for Tantaros as her editor, Michael Malice, under his original name Michael Kreckmer, sued her. Michael claimed that he was the ghostwriter for Tied Up in Knots and that Tantaros had not paid him enough for his role, something that Tantaros never expected from him. Nevertheless, Tantaros didn't hold back. She retaliated, claiming the book to be hers. Tantaros's attorney, however, did not believe that Michael had made the lawsuit by his own will. Rather, Fox News was the one behind the lawsuit as a plot to silence Tantaros yet again. What are your takes on this? Was the lawsuit just another of Fox News' attempts to shut Tantaros up for good? In her countersuit against Michael, Tantaros also accused him of giving out confidential information about her and the book to Fox News, which was a violation of their agreement. It was like a never-ending drama, with betrayals and secret alliances being the order of the day. After a few sessions in and out of court, the judge dismissed the lawsuit altogether, a move that Tantaros was highly against. To her, justice had not been served. She appealed her case once again, but just like before, the appeal was rejected. Was Tantaros fighting a battle she wasn't going to win? Despite the never-ending back and forth to the courtroom, Andrea Tantaros's impact on the show outnumbered is evident even to this day. However, to add to Fox News' mountain of controversies, another former employee came forth with something to say about the show. Melissa Francis brought a new vibe to the Fox News industry that was positively received by TV viewers across the globe. With a blend of glamour and creativity, as she traversed the super-competitive Fox Business Network, she was remarkable. Born and raised in Los Angeles, Francis graduated from Harvard University in 1995 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in economics. 
With her background in business and economics, she granted viewers an insight into the economic world with ease. Melissa's role as an actress in her early life also helped her a lot on stage. Yes, you heard me right. Melissa Francis was once an actress before going into newscasting. No wonder her stance and eloquence on camera were always on point. And that's probably why Fox News saw her as such a great fit on Outnumbered. She brought a fresh perspective to the show and wasn't afraid to share her opinion. In the show, Melissa showcased her business knowledge alongside her intense understanding of the political realm. This versatility not only spiced up the show's discussions, but also helped draw in a wider audience. It is evident that Melissa Francis was a perfect fit for the show. Then, why did she leave? Melissa leaves outnumbered. In an interview on The Megyn Kelly Show, former Fox News and Fox Business Network commentator Melissa Francis told her host that she learned that she had been fired in October 2020 after reading You've Been Cancelled on her teleprompter moments before her show was to go live. She said that she was preparing to do an upcoming newscast from a studio the network had set up at her house during the COVID lockdown when she read on the teleprompter that she wasn't needed anymore. Her contract had expired about a year earlier and wasn't renewed, which had fans on edge, wanting an explanation from Fox News. Just like Tantaros's story, Fox tried to cover the reason behind her lack of presence. They claimed that her sudden disappearance from the waves was due to program changes related to the election, which didn't seem to be accurate. According to reports, Melissa, during her time on Outnumbered, had been negotiating for a raise to match the salaries of her male counterparts, which Fox News did not sign on to, and instead, she was let go. Despite not claiming it at first, Francis's lawyer stated that the abrupt cancellation was 100% due to her pay dispute. Those claims, in my view, 100% led to her being taken off the air without question, said the lawyer. Francis took the issue to the New York Department of Labor, which announced in December 2021 that they would pursue an investigation over her gender discrimination. True to their words, the court did their investigation. And although Francis did not confirm the settlement herself, the Washington Post reported in June that she and Fox had reached a $15 million settlement. A really good reward for a long and horrid struggle, don't you think? Well, it seems like Fox News has a bad reputation with most of its former female employees. Was this a management norm? The next complaint filed by Meghan McCain is set to shed some light on Fox News history with female employees. Meghan McCain. Born on the 23rd of October 1984 in Phoenix, Arizona, Meghan McCain is an ambitious and expressive public figure who has had a really successful career as a newscaster for various big-shot TV news stations, including ABC News, Fox News, and MSNBC. She is the daughter of politician John McCain and diplomat Cindy McCain. Growing up as the daughter of a politician and diplomat meant that Meghan was inducted into the limelight even at an early stage in her life. Being the oldest child of a former senator, Megan had a pretty luxurious childhood, attending a high-end private school and always being the center of attention. When she was only 11 years old, Megan appeared at the 1996 Republican National Convention, where Senator Bob Dole from Kansas was nominated for president. It seemed like the political fire in her was instilled when she was still young, You'd expect her to be all about politics, right? Megan was interested in becoming a music journalist instead, quite the contrary of what most would expect. She attended Columbia University, where she earned her Bachelor of Arts in Art History in 2007. It's like she was trying to find her own path. She was doing quite well for herself, and the universe had yet another reward for her. In 2015, after a series of TV appearances and successful blog posts, Megan was signed as a Fox News contributor in July 2015, which subsequently led to her co-hosting the afternoon talk show Outnumbered on November 14, 2016. She showcased immense talent, bringing a unique blend of political insight and media savvy to the show. That's why her fans were deeply heartbroken when she announced that she would be leaving her role as a contributor at Fox News. According to reports, the drastic resignation from Fox came in July after his father was diagnosed with brain cancer. 
She said during a press conference, I'm so thankful to Fox News for the chance to be on Outnumbered, but I'm leaving to focus on other things, which was shrouded in mystery. And although nobody really knows for sure, it doesn't seem like there's any bad blood between her and the show's organizers. Maybe she just decided it was time for a new journey in her life. Or perhaps she wanted to avoid another heated on-air argument about politics, considering she was a part of it for a while before joining the screens. And who knows what she'll tackle next. Her track record is bound to be captivating. Sandra Smith. Just like Tantaros, this business and news reporter currently serving as co-anchor of America Reports on the Fox News Channel has had the social media world buzzing with questions recently. Showcasing her prominence in journalism, Sandra Smith is captivating viewers of America Reports, a show that covers all the key stories and breaking news. With a history in newscasting roles before, she is really proficient at her job and is slowly becoming a fan favorite. So, why are there rumors of her leaving Fox News? With all the recent happenings in Fox News, it's easier to notice when a familiar face is missing on air. Despite her highly streamed debate with Grover Norquist and Ashley Moody on May 5th, she's been noticeably absent from the spotlight. What sparked even more controversy was Sandra's last tweet, which was a repost from Jackie Heinrich, who's been filling in for her on the show lately. Heinrich, who is Sandra's co-worker at Fox News White House, has been stepping in while she seems to be on break. Is she her new replacement? I know Fox News has had a reputation for letting go of its hosts under very controversial circumstances, but as for Sandra Smith's status at Fox News, I don't believe there's much to worry about. Despite having some major shakeups at the network in January, which brought a lot of changes to the daytime lineup, her role as America Report's co-host still remains. The outspoken news reporter is still keeping viewers updated with all the latest news and analysis. With significant contributions to the network's functions and her knack for blending news with a bit of humor, she continues to deliver the latest headlines and in-depth analysis. With no sufficient proof of her leaving the show, it seems like Sandra Smith's recent absence from the public eye might just be taking some time off or enjoying a well-deserved vacation. Despite the controversies, Fox News is striving to make Outnumbered a dynamic and informative show. With the show's new hosts, each bringing their unique experiences to the table and engaging in conversations on a wide range of topics. So, what do you think of the former host's controversial circumstances when leaving Outnumbered?